All right, and that looks like some yummy cooked trout. Pull these out. to the channel uh, I decided to do something a little different today um, you know sometimes I get messages from people that are just starting out and especially in my area you know uh, in East Tennessee I, I did too when I first started to fish just reach out to people and ask where to fish uh, what areas but I think that there's people out there that just don't know how to do certain types of fishing or have very uh, little experience with fishing and so this video is just to kind of walk somebody through a very easy introduction to fishing if you haven't done it or haven't done it much just have a little bit of like you've gone with people and they've set up the hooks for you and they set up the bait for you and so you're gonna venture out on your own to start fishing uh, this video is for you I'm gonna walk you through where to find fish, how to hook the bait on it, what type of hook to use, what type of setup to use. Uh, and then I think the best thing that you can do if you're just getting started with fishing is go somewhere that you know there's fish so it can be fun. Uh, and one of the things that you can look for in your area is stocked trout lakes, okay? Uh, I know that the fly fishermen out there and the river fishermen out there who like to go out for the wild trout. Look, I, I, I love all that too, but they're far from me. They're three hours away. So I can't just always get to them. I have a trout pond lake, they call it, uh, near me. It's 12 minutes from my house, 13 minutes. I just put uh, the map. So I'm going to get there in no time. I'm going to fish. I'm going to catch some fish. They're keeper fish. You can take them home and eat them. And in this video, I'm also going to show you how to clean them out and then cook them. All right, stay tuned. All right, so here's my preferred method to catch stock trout. Like, I know they're stock trout, but it's not as easy as everyone thinks. Go get some power bait. But here's where, it, at least for me, it all comes down to is in the hook you use. All right, I have a tiny little number 20 treble hook. And this is where I think people fail when they're trying to catch stock trout. Like, they'll get hits because they're there but they won't land them. That's the thing. It's not the point of not getting a hit. You're gonna get hits in stocked lakes. I mean, they're in there, they're hungry, of course. Uh, they're gonna wanna bite, but it's landing them. So I think the whole key is, I'm just watching my other rod. <laughs> I think the key is the treble hook. It's been my go-to and I've, cause you can just let it sit there and hit, 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 hit. Since you're gonna take them home, since they're stocked, you should take them. Uh, then uh, you don't care if they swallow them so just they're gonna hook themselves and I think that's where everybody else fails in uh, landing them is they try to use like small number two hooks and it's a single hook and the trout is gonna hit it but you, you really are depending on the trout swallowing the whole thing and then you set it right like you got to coordinate a lot there with a tiny treble hook they just swallow it and it's already clipping on to something inside of them so by the way, I do the same for catfish.
was a strike just now. As for the weight and the setup, this is what they call a Carolina rig, which is a swivel so that your weight doesn't slide down to your hook. And then this is called a leader, which is just an extension of line. Uh, depending on depth and things like that, you'll change the length of the leader. Uh, and you know, you can get familiar with the use using leaders a little bit more as you just fish more, you know, you want to predict more or less where the fish are which is impossible so you know a length of leader see if it works you can always change it around see if something else works i'm gonna toss a little bit less far there we go by your dead friends. There we go. All right. There we go. two should do it because I'm gonna remove a hook out of the inside of them and you know I don't want them to suffer feel pain you know, even that little bit I don't know I don't want to hurt them there we go nice stock trout all right just getting a little hit now so Again, here's my method. All right, you can watch the rod with me. All right, there's something curious there. You can see little vibrations on the string. And there you go, starting to just tiny little movement. See, there it is. You can see tiny little movements. So, leave it. <laughs> the treble hook will work. It'll do its thing.
not that this fish is so well hooked that, uh, you know, I can just play around with them. stock trout for dinner and as you can see and this is the part I want to show you they just swallow it all the way down so just let them hit they'll take themselves uh, they'll get themselves hooked and as long as you got one of these you can retrieve your hook it's down in there so be able to get it out All right, I was just picking this rod up and it turns out there's a fish on it, so I guess my theory about the treble hook is true. They just basically land themselves. You just gotta wait it out. There you go. Another one. GoPro stop recording. Okay, that was a fun couple of hours of fishing. Uh, I'm gonna head home now and do some cleaning. Uh, look, that was like, what, two hours, something like that? I got here at roughly 10.45, it's 1.30. Okay, three hours. Four fish in three hours. One of them was small, I had to keep that last one, it was real small, but swallowed the hook a little bit far and Again, these are stocked fish. They're gonna die in these ponds because they can't survive the summer. So uh, the little fish is for the dogs. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm heading home now. We're gonna do some cleaning. We're gonna do some uh, cooking. So give you that part of the adventure. All right, what's up guys? We're back home. We got some fish. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna walk you guys through. I'm gonna walk you guys through cleaning, 
and cooking. So first part we're gonna do is, that's my dog, is we're gonna clean the fish, all right? Sorry, I got some workers here, so he's very excited about that and they're outside. So here's one of the trout. Let's just do this one. All right, what's up guys? We're back home, we got some fish. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna walk you guys through I'm gonna walk you guys through cleaning and cooking. So first part we're gonna do is, that's my dog, is we're gonna clean the fish, all right? Sorry, I got some workers here, so he's very excited about that and they're outside. So here's one of the trout. Let's just do this one. Easiest way, there's a few ways to do this. Some people like to keep the head on. I like to get rid of the head, so uh, it doesn't matter which side you start at, you wanna lift that little uh, fin slice you can go all the way through because these are small all right and there's that you got the guts to deal with so what I like to do is just run my knife right through there and get rid of that fin as well so right through there's that and then the guts now you do want to still cut back to the dorsal fin okay because the uh, entrails do obviously run to there but there you go that's a clean trout we are going to get rid of that bloodline we're going to wash it next run your thumb now through the inside and you'll notice that that's all washed out all right. Run a knife through it. Uh, and then ultimately, I also like to just wash the whole trout. And uh, there you go. Nice, fresh, fresh piece of trout. All right, I'm going to do that four more times. Okay, when it comes to trout, there's a few ways to prepare the trout. I like to pat it dry first because you're going to put it in hot oil. And trout's the kind of fish, right? Different fish get cooked in different methods. Sometimes if you have a large fish, you can just fillet them, right? You can take a fillet out of this. You could do that too on these fish, but trout is a fish that lends to uh, being cooked whole a little better. You know, you can do the head on. So you can leave the tail or not. I like to cut the tail and I'll show you why. It's two reasons. One, my dogs love to eat that. <laughs> Uh, and two, uh, I'll show you, it'll help us remove the bones. Now, one of the things I, again, like to do is get rid of this back. It's just my way of doing it. Uh, and then it'll make accessing this backbone to remove it. So you can see the bone is right there, accessing it later to remove it a little easier. So you'll see how all this will play out later. Once this cooks, I'll be able to get in there and just remove this whole bone. So that's one way to prep it. So in a nice hot pan, you're just gonna lay the fish in there and then just sort of hold it. Give it a second, let the skin and the pan sort of marry. And yeah, I just like to hold it down, especially in the beginning while you're first placing it in here. It is gonna wanna like fold up on, each other, on itself the skin as it tightens away from the meat that's not yet cooked. So that should be okay. All right, and that looks like some yummy cooked trout. All right, now you can see how the bone is starting to come off. Skin is starting to pull away. All right, that's a sign that they're almost done. And we got some eager customers here. Oh, right Hershey, are you excited? All right, well, let's do a little tail action. You want some tails? Yeah, Hershey, go. Bad boy. 
here. All right, now with the bone, like I said, very easy. It should just completely come right out. The whole thing, kit and caboodle. That is boneless filet. That is a boneless filet of fresh trout. I cannot wait to eat that. <laughs> All right, I'll show you on the other one too. And that's why we did that to the tail and that's why we take off the tail is so that we can just get rid of that whole bone and skeletal section right there. Again, all those ribs coming out. Boom, you're done. A little bit of meat there, you know, don't. Hey, get back there. Put it right back where it goes. All right, again, two boneless fillets. That's gonna be a great lunch. All right, guys, here's the finished plate. All right, I got, these are two fish, a couple of fillets. Got some nice brown rice that uh, my wife made for lunch. And I got like one of my favorite things in the world to put on this, which is, uh, you know, he's not sponsoring the channel, but Momofuku's uh, Chili Crunch is outrageous on fish. This stuff is like so great. Put a little bit here, just on your rice. And uh, I like spice, so this is the extra spicy. This should be awesome. Grab a little bit of rice. And uh, thanks for watching the channel, everybody. And uh, thanks for all your support. You know, I'm starting to get into the hundreds with my views. Uh, so uh, thank you, I appreciate all that. And for those of you just starting out fishing, Fish is taste, it tastes great. It's a lot of fun to catch and uh, you'll get better at it. All right, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Mm. That is still good. Great stuff.